Workspace filters are the filters that will help me to filter the workspace so I can focus on my area of work. It includes special filters and attribute filters. Special filters are pre-configured rules that filter data so that only the positions that fulfill the requirements of the query are displayed in the view. Special filters can be used to validate the assortment by product and location attributes or by style color options such as new, carryover, or non-go forwarding. Special filters are used to affect the visible position in the workspace view. These filters contain special rules, so I as a planner can focus dynamically on the information that is important to me. I can select the special filter from the special filter drop-down list. The special filter drop-down list has the filters listed by views. To apply special filters, you can slide the toggle to on or off. I can go to the special filter drop-down list and select the filter by selected option. And now the pivot table will show only the positions which are selected during the assortment planning. The positions that do not match the criteria are hidden. I can verify positions by using Edit View to view the positions in the hidden area. Any positions that were manually hidden previously will be unhidden if they match the special filter. During planning, planners may need to apply a manual show or hide over special filter result for analyzing the data. In those cases, an out of sync alert is highlighted in the special filter drop down list. This notifies me that there is a manual show or hide applied over the special filter result. You can see the out of sync alert icon highlighted on the special filter header. Click the special filter drop down to see an out of sync alert at the bottom of the list with a reapply filters link. To revert back to the special filter result, click the reapply filter link which reevaluates the filter and hides the manual show or hide updates. Now I want to use the attribute filters. To filter by colors, I will choose black and click OK. By default, it applies the filter to a view. To see which view, I will click the Applies to menu and I can see the View Create Options is selected. Next, I will click OK. Now I can see only the products that are black. For the attribute filters, I can create saved filters. Once I have selected the attribute filters and their values, I can save the filter selections for later use. Saved filter represents a combination of attribute filters only. It does not contain special filters or views. To create a new saved filter, type in the filter name and click Create New Saved Filter to add brand color filter to the list of saved filters. To select an existing saved filter, select it from the list of saved filters. To find the saved filter, enter the name of the filter in the Save Filters text box.